Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today we are going to look at uh, conditional structure in flowcharts. And you know, in the conditional structures, you're gonna find a lot of titles. Today we will talk about uh, the if conditions. You know, if you do this, I will give you that one. If you not, I won't give this to you. It's something like that. You know, it's it gives the two probable uh, answers related to a condition so there is a condition if it supports you do the true part if it's not supporting and you're gonna do the false part it's something like that now let's let's look at the some exercises and you will learn it good now we will start a program I want to make a program that asks uh, the students the test result, okay, and then and then we will enter the result, and according to the result, it will tell us the student the student passed the exam or not. So our criteria is going to be if if you got more than seventy points, if you got more than seventy points. And it will tell you that you passed the test. Otherwise, you failed. So that's the the program we will do today. Let me let me write here. Uh, enter your test result. So based on the result, it will turn us. It will return us the. Uh, the situation you know the what happened did you pass or not okay I will get the input to to inform the user to input the data uh, as you know that there are thousands of results we will use again variable because we there is no current result if all the class uh, work well, m most of them maybe hundred. But you know, for the program, we have to use again one variable. I will write there result. I will call this R. Okay, R stands for the result, and and then I and then I will use if condition from here. By the way, there will be more blocks. That's why I will collect them on the top. So here we we flow the program with the arrows, and I will write the criteria here. What's my criteria? If R, so R was standing for the result. If R bigger bigger than seventy, okay. So this is the true part and this is the false part okay if it's bigger than 70 I will show on the output saying that you passed it and I get another one I'll connect to the else and right here failed that's simple and then finally we will finish the program with the end and let's see this quickly does it work or not enter your test result oh yeah, no, okay we don't need that I will write there uh, my test result is 78 and uh, I hit enter and he says pass wow look at this I'm I passed the test check this out and let me try another one another one I delete this part also I run it and then I will pretend like I failed the test and I will hit enter now he, I failed look at this because I didn't study a lot but I I think I will do better in the second test okay so we solved the problem like that but I would like to try this again I will write there 71 again okay and he says you passed but what about the student who takes the 70 let's see what's gonna happen 
He says you failed. So it's wrong actually. There is a one detail we forgot to put. So if you get 70 and teacher tells you says you failed, so you're going to go to teacher teacher it's impossible because I got 70. I have to pass, so you're going to say it to him. So here uh, there is a one one thing is missing in the criteria. We have to say like that uh, if your result is equal to 70 and bigger than 70. How can we show this in the in the in the condition? So we have to um, show there bigger than 70 and equal to 70. So guess what? How do we do it? We're going to use one equal sign. Do you know where to put this? We will put this after after the bigger sign or smaller sign if you're using. So that means the number bigger than zero and also equal to zero. Let's try it again. I will run it. All right, there's 70 this time. And now, and finally, I passed. So you can solve another pro problem using this. Example, students get uh, their report cards and if students are really successful they also get additional certificate they they, they become qualified to get uh, honor certification or high honor certification we can make a program that tells us are you qualified to get honor or not uh, qualified to get honor we will write here enter enter your average because we can see the result from the average of the students this time I will write there AVE which stands for average I do this quickly guys average and uh, it should be um, equal to 4.5 or bigger than 4.5 and if your average is in this question in criteria, if, if your average supports this condition, we will say that qualified. get honor okay I can show them here okay and and I will just copy paste this not qualified on another occasion that's it so let's see this first I'm going to clear this part and then play this if you get 4.5 um, it will tell you you're qualified here you go let me try it again with another uh, input I will write there 4.4 this time and he says not qualified okay guys uh, before end this tutorial uh, I would like to give you another exercise that you can do after these uh, simple exercises uh, so in that homework you're gonna make a program which tells you is the number positive or negative so one person is going to input a value and the, your program will return is that value a positive number or a negative number okay guys thank you see you in the next tutorial Bye-bye.